What would be your zombie apocalypse plan? I probably wouldn't be Rick Grimes. I would be more like... Uh... Uh, not Negan. I would. I would. I wouldn't go uh, that far, but I. I would. I would probably be a raider. I, I'd. I'd probably be the chick from Zombieland Two that lived in the mall. And I realized, wow, like this is really something. And I realized that that was the part of me that I was kind of missing all my life was, you know, of the question of what am I naturally good at. And it was surprising because I. I I wouldn't have thought writing would have been my talent because I didn't like it when I was in high school because, but back then that was because you're writing what they're telling you to write. They yeah. pick the topic, you write yeah, about it, exactly. and then it's you cool. get your grade. It, you know, mm -hmm. but looking back at it now, there were some telltale signs that I didn't think about back then that are so blatant obvious to me now. I, I don't really write my books to send out like big messages, like, you know, say out crime or whatever. My books are largely just, just to enthrall and entertain readers, people who enjoy that, um, my type of writing. But Icebox for me was, that was my chance to really send a message out to the world, which was the portrayal of corrections officers. Um, in most movies, TV shows, whatnot, corrections officers are displayed in a much more in a very negative light. They're kind of seen as goons or very corrupt or very uh, inadequate and incompetent at their jobs. And in Ice Box, they're seen as more of a neutral um, entity within the prison.